positive anime reviews is a review show that is designed for people who aren't very picky about their anime, like me. Most anime I watch ends up in my 5 out of 5 category. My reviews are for those people who are looking for a reason to watch anime rather than hate on it. I am willing to give any and all anime a chance before stating my opinion. Lastly, my reviews are, for, are all my opinion and might and or most likely will not match yours. If you don't agree, that's totally fine. Just be respectful in the comment section. Thank you. And as always, possible spoiler warning ahead. Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with another positive anime review. So today we will be talking about how to how not to summon a demon lord. Um, I just finished this anime last night. I've been watching it kind of slower than the, I watched the other ones over the last few days. And uh, and I, I really liked it. So we're going to be launching into this review. So as always, we will be starting with the synopsis because, again, it is a great way to summarize what we're watching. And it's easier than listening to me talk about it or attempt to explain it. So off the synopsis, it is as in regards to the MMORPG Cross Reverie, Sakamoto Takuma boasted an overwhelming strength that was enough for him to be called the Demon King by the other players. One day, he gets summoned to another world with his with his with his ap appearance in the game. There, two girls insist, "I am the real summon master." Takuma gets slave turning magic used for summoning beasts cast on him by the girls. However, the peculiar ability magic reflection is invoked. The ones that were turned to slaves were the girls. Takuma is bewildered. He's the strongest magician, but he doesn't have any social skills. Panicking, the first words that come out uh, that come out are the ones that he used inside the game, role playing as the Demon King. Um, I'm amazing, you say? Of course I am. I am Diablo, the one feared as the Demon King. This is the story of the Demon King, acting, that would soon inspire the world and his otherworld adventure that he plunges through with his absolute strength, raise the curtain. So, this is, in case you haven't noticed, this is a uh, isekai, which, uh, to my understanding, means, uh, means another world. It often means, uh, like, either fantasy world or inside of a game world, like in this case, stuff like that. Um, now, for uh, some people, this is a big turnoff. Immediately, they're just like, oh, Isekai, I'm done. But I would encourage you to give this one a chance because although this is a harem, etchy, comedy, magic, fantasy, Isekai anime, this is a step above the rest. So obviously, I mean, that's what all the genres are. It's harem, it's etchy, it's Isekai, it's, there's some, there is some co uh, comedic moments and it's a fantasy and it's fun. So, um... But this is this is a cut above the rest. So I originally watched this because uh, I am I watched Overlord and then I watched I think it was Bloom into You right after that um, and then so I I really enjoyed Overlord so so much and I gave it such a high rating that I wanted to give I want I want to look I was trying to look for like for similar animes. Um, so I was looking for one that was fairly similar. Similar. Now this one was listed in a list of anime that were similar, um, but after watching it, I kind of disagree. Um, so some of the inherent differences that I noticed between Overlord and this anime, Overlord is the main character was actually evil. He wasn't a good guy. Um, he really did turn into his character. Now he could remember like how he would have acted before you know but he was he what he did turn into his undead character who was a bad guy who he, you know he killed people and he did all these things that maybe in real life he probably wouldn't have done um but he uh but anyway but yeah so he but he but his character would do in the game and or in you know in the n new world they were in well this one was actually different that in this one he was still the same guy he was in real life but he he was always acting he was always pretending to trying to be his character inside the game which was like which was supposedly i mean he says he's a bad guy but he's not he always does the good guy thing and so if you're looking for something that you're trying to find an anime about a bad guy i would encourage you to keep looking because this uh, this guy he he says he's a bad guy but he's not now i don't want that i don't want to scare you off like this isn't a good anime because of that that's just i went into it cuz i was looking for an anime about a bad guy and uh and something similar to overlord and then i watched it and i was like okay well that's not what i was after but it it, it was really good so anyway that's where we're at so this anime uh aired in the summer 2018 season so again this is another a fairly recent anime which is surprising for me because I almost never watch. I have literally definitely broken my record for how many anime I have watched that is, you know, of the modern season. Um, definitely broken my own, my, my record because historically I always watch anime that have been out a very long time. So anyway, so I just find that interesting to me. Now, 
Of course, we already talked about the genre, but as far as like cleanliness or rating would go, um, this anime is very etchy. Now, there is a censored version and an uncensored version. Um, I watch the uncensored version because I don't like having things cut out. It should, should be up to me. Um, but they, and so there is some, there is a lot of, there is a lot of etchy moments throughout the anime. Um, but I liked it and I think it's a step above the others because although it is harem, it is etchy, there was a surprisingly high emphasis on serious moments, fun moments. And for me, etchy animes are often only as good as their serious moments for me personally. Um, that, you know, I don't mind etchy stuff. I, I don't, but it has to have more. I mean, it sounds like a joke, but it has to have plot, you know, that I, I'm not going to, I'm. I rarely stick around if it's just just they're like yep it's etchy there's like barely any plot holding it together and that's all it is it's just a giant etchy fest and I I often find those boring I don't want to stick around I'd be like you know what I can get my etchy fix somewhere else I want something with plot so but this was a cut above the rest it was really good now there was a lot of serious moments and a lot of like there there was character development and there was some, there was some surprisingly uh gory not not like gory but there was like some some, some surprisingly dark moments um which really surprised me um but there was there was there was some gore there was there was i mean not maybe, maybe not gore but blood there there was some blood um and so if you're looking for something that's incredibly clean i would advise you to keep looking but if you don't mind blood if you don't mind some random dark pretty intense moments and uh, and if you don't mind etchy stuff, then of course I would I would recommend it. And of course, if you're not bl uh, bothered by isekai, I have known I I've uh, watched reviews of people who are bothered, and I don't get being turned away by just a whole genre. If you're if it's not your thing, I get it. But if it's a good anime, I am willing to watch it. So anyway, um, but and uh, so season length, it was one season. Um, it was one season. It was 12 episodes long, and so uh, it, it's a it, it's a pretty quick watch. I watched it in a couple of days. Um, uh, maybe you know three or four days or whatever and it was really good um, it was uh, it was nice and short and concise so I wouldn't be surprised if there was I wouldn't be surprised if there was more seasons coming out um, of course I don't I assume it's a manga I don't know um, and so I would assume that there's more se there's gonna be more seasons because it did really well uh, based on everything that I heard they did they did a great job uh, and they sold really well that lots of people watched them and it seemed like everyone was surprised at how good it was despite the fact that it's another harem etchy isekai anime um, but they did they did a great job it was a cut above the rest for sure now as far as characters are concerned of course our main character is going to be the main guy Diablo um, and uh, and it's gonna be like you know 70 to 80 percent his perspective so he, he is the main character now there is a couple of other main characters which uh, hang out with him there is Rem and then Shira um, and th those two are both are both introduced in the first episode um really quick on and there and they'll be with you throughout now there's a lot of other supporting characters um that we're not really going to get into but there's there's not there's not very there's not very many characters and it's very easy to keep track of who's who and whatnot there was also a really cool plot twist um that i'm, I'm not going to spoil for you um, but there was a really cool plot twist, really cool story stuff in through throughout, but especially in the ending few episodes, there was some surprising developments and stuff that really you didn't see coming maybe, and it was really fun and it was really cool. Now another good thing about this anime is that there actually was a happily or a happily ever after ending. Um, some people are really sensitive about their ending, and I can be too. I'm not saying that I'm not. Um, but this anime got a uh, happily ever after even for the bad guys. So everybody got a happily ever after. And uh, and I was okay with that, you know. I mean, it was so it was kind of lighthearted in in some spots and dark in others. But it was like I I wasn't bothered by the fact that even the bad guys got the happy ending. I was like, you know, great, sweet, you know, everyone's happy, that's fine. And so it, so it was really good, and the characters were really made well. They they had growth throughout the anime, and as it as it goes on, you learn backstory, and it was and it, it did keep you interested. Now, animation and music wise, animation was sharp. It was really pretty to watch. Um, from the background stuff to the foreground stuff, um, everything was just really well put together. It, it maybe it was really high budget, but at least it seemed like it. Um, now, 
music. I don't I don't really particularly remember being blown away by the music, um, but there was a little bit, and it did its job. It's opening and closing, uh, video, uh, you know, its intros and its out and its outros or whatever you want to call them were both really good, um, and and it it was really fun. So as I uh, as far as recommendation and final rating goes, uh, I my recommendation is absolutely watch it. Um, it was really good. It was really well put together and really pretty to look at. Now, of course, like I said, there were lots of etchy moments, but there were less than some other etchy anime, and there was a lot more serious moments, which is honestly what got me hooked, is because at first I'm like, alright, no more etchy, but there was lots of plot, and I was like, and that's what really kept me hooked. So, as far as recommendation goes, I absolutely do recommend this anime. If if anything that we've talked about already uh, doesn't bother you or sounds interesting to you, I absolutely recommend checking it out. Um, as far as final rating goes, I'm going to give this anime a 5 out of 5. Very good. This anime made no mistakes worth noting and is definitely worth a buy. It was it was really good. Um, Again, my only qualm, my only little, my only little qualm, my only little thing was I was looking for a bad guy anime. So for me, it was a little harder because uh, going into it, I was looking for something about a bad guy, and it, it wasn't about that. So, um, so for me, that was a little hard. That was a little bit like, okay, well, this is this isn't what I was after. Um, but it wasn't an, it wasn't enough to jip its score. It wasn't enough to say it was bad or anything by any means. Um, it was really well put together. And uh, so it's definitely going to, I think, 100% deserve its 5 out of 5. Anyway, so absolutely, I do absolutely recommend it, and you should definitely check it out. Whether you prefer the censored or uncensored version is, of course, up to you. Anyway, so uh, I, think that, I think that's about it. The, uh, these anime reviews are often pretty short, you know, 10 to 20 minutes and between there, and often they're about 11 to 15, and I'm okay with that, you know, we don't have to talk about it, you know, beat, beat it over for like, you know, an hour, it doesn't have to be a long video, it's just I want a quick little review so you guys know that I watched it, you guys know what I thought about it, and maybe I can help you guys watch it, so, and that is really the goal here. Anyway, thank you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and you found it helpful, um, as far as uploads today goes, I am hoping to get at least one of my, uh, gameplay parts out today. I'm probably going to do Old uh, Old Republic right after this, and that is where we will be next, and it, it is possible, of course, that we will get Black Ops up as well. Now, uploads for tomorrow on Saturday, um, I actually do have some family obligations, and uh, so I don't know if there'll be anything going out tomorrow on Saturday. Um, it, is, it is possible, of course, but I do not know for sure, and uh, and I think, and yeah, so I that's as far as uploads goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later. Are y'all ready for a god dang video? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. I don't know which direction that is, dude. I'm not freaking Sacagawea. Hey, you get off me. We'll we'll, ha we'll talk about this like adults. Ha! Huh, he bought it. What an idiot. Who would have thought he's Irish? How exciting is that? Suck their life out. Suck their little juices out. <laughs> I don't know why that's the sound, but whatever. What's finished out here? What the what? Thank you all so much for watching, and we will talk to you guys later.